Jeff, what happens if a case doesn't settle? If a case does not settle, people oftentimes want to know what's missing, what needs to be added to the equation so that a case can settle. So if a case does not settle at a mediation, one of the important functions that a mediator can add, a uh, mediator can perform, is to help the parties understand what they need to do next in order to improve or maximize the chance of reaching a settlement. So sometimes we act as you might act at a status conference rather than at a settlement conference. What's the logjam here? What's missing? What discovery do you really need? You need a deposition of this person or you need documents of a certain type. And perhaps after that limited and focused discovery or exchange of information takes place, then perhaps the case will be ready to settle. A responsible mediator stays in touch with the party, stays in contact with them, talks to them, calls them from time to time, find out how things are going and what additional help the mediator can be. This kind of continued involvement by the mediator can help people stay focused on the possibility of settlement and then at the right time, if the mediator has maintained proper relationships with people, then perhaps the mediator can be a further help in getting the case all the way to the settlement. And you know, Lori, there's another important thing that happens when a case doesn't settle. Let's say you and your client are completely reasonable and the folks on the other side of the table are unreasonable. They're too emotional, they're angry, they want revenge, whatever it happens to be. One of the most important things that you can do for your client in that situation is to let them have a full view of what's going on on the other side of the table. Because let's face it, one of the criticisms that lawyers fear the most from their clients is that a lawyer is overdoing a case, running a meter, charging too much. And oftentimes, generally speaking, it's not the case. It's the work that the case legitimately requires. So by allowing your client to see the florid behavior of the other side in the mediation, your client comes to a very clear understanding that the reason that the case is proceeding, the reason that it's so expensive, the reason that it's so time consuming and disruptive has nothing to do with you. It has to do with the behavior of the other participants. And so it can actually help to bond relationships between reasonable clients and reasonable lawyers. It can help to reinforce and reestablish the, the, the trust and confidence between lawyers and their clients. For many lawyers, they find it a tremendous client relations tool as well as a tool to help get cases settled.